Hello, my name is Mirek Manjena. I joined the Daisy team in 2014 as a lead gameplay programmer and I'm ready for your questions. What is the role of a gameplay program at BI, especially in the DAISY dev team? And what are the tasks and duties of a lead gameplay programmer there? Well, DAISY is programmed in three levels. The lowest part is the engine part. The second one is us gameplay programmers. And the third part is our scripts uh, written by designers slash scripters. Our duty is mostly uh, the networking part, uh, writing game components like character system, vehicle system, inventory, uh, center loot e economy, and many more. I, as a lead gameplay programmer, uh, have the big picture overview over the source code. I delegate the tasks uh, for uh, my team members and uh, I'm discussing how to do with this and that and how to optimize that. Is there a clear differentiation between a gameplay programmer and game designer within the DayZ dev team? If so, how does a direct collaboration look like between the programmer and the designer at BI? Okay, uh, there is a differentiation. I will try to describe it on uh, Demi system. For example, a designer will go to us uh, programmers and they are asking us that uh, they need a new Demi system and it has to do this and that. We will say, okay, we start to programming, uh, we will design uh, the first iteration and implement it. Then uh, we go to designers and uh, ask them that they can try it and if something doesn't work, uh, just uh, tell us and uh, we will fix it or improve it. And uh, this goes in several round trips until everyone is happy in the end. Will the video memory option and settings get removed in the future? And will the game be able to support more than two gigabytes? Yes, uh, the engine programmers are working on this uh, now and 2 gigs will be available once we get 64-bit uh, clients into experimental version. Is the CLE capable of changing any other parameters without patching besides loot, like weather or temperature? Uh, well, weather or temperature, uh, it's not possible now, but uh, it's interesting idea. We can uh, think about it. Anyway, uh, we can change a lot of parameters without server restarts, like uh, loot numbers, uh, vehicle numbers, uh, how often they should spawn, or a composition of hearts. Hey, Merrick, what do you enjoy the most about working as a lead Daisy gameplay programmer at BI? Oh, nice question. Uh, it's a challenge itself to work on such a complex game like Daisy is, because it is open world survival game. It has uh, range and melee weapons combat. Uh, it's working on large map. Uh, it has to have uh, ground and air vehicles, persistent world, and on top of this, it's an MMO game. I uh, enjoy working on a such a complex project, and um, I'm enjoying every small step closer to the final product. What has been the most resource-intensive gameplay feature to implement, tune and or maintain so far? Will it change anytime soon? If so, what will likely take its place? Probably most of work goes into networking, but uh, I wouldn't call it a feature because uh, it is a multiplayer game. So now it's probably uh, character simulations because we have to change everything. In the old sim simulation, there are a lot of things hard-coded in C++ and we want to uh, move it into scripts, so uh, we will move the responsibility from uh, programmers to uh, scripters and it has uh, one uh, advantage because uh, it should increase uh, developing speed. Uh, designers can prototype and uh, implement it themselves so there won't be any round trip bef uh, between programmers and designers. And uh, one big advantage is that uh, we will increase the modding possibilities. Uh, for example, uh, everyone can uh, create his own uh, style of any action in the game. 
Input lag has been an increasing problem in many recent games, causing nausea for many gamers, including myself. Can Merrick discuss how the gameplay programming team are handling avoiding this potential issue when implementing the new player mechanics? Okay, uh, we definitely won't avoid the input lag in the game uh, because generally uh, input lag is something what shouldn't be in action games. So uh, now uh, in the game it's present due to server performance issues, so uh, we have to do less uh, simulation steps and that's the reason why we have interpolation between simulation steps so uh, that interpolation is creating the input lag. Uh, this is my first part of Q&A and stay tuned for the second part.